tonight in NBC 15 News Reality Check Investigation. The Mobile Police Department is on high alert, asking the public to be aware of Glock switches. It's a small device that converts a normally semi-automatic pistol into a fully automatic firearm. NBC 15's Lisa Labrinyak joins us now. Lisa, MPD says this is something everyone should be worried about. Yeah, that's right, Kim, and the numbers continue to go up. MPD has already recovered seven pistols with Glock switches in the last six months. The switch attaches to the rear of the slide, and when the trigger is depressed and the slide goes backwards, instead of it resetting, the switch does not allow the slide to reset. Sergeant John Young with the Mobile Police Department says this device is a concern and there's no stopping it now. They're already here in Mobile. On Wednesday, this man, Trention King, was indicted in federal court for allegedly having a Glock chip attached to the gun he used at a shooting in March. Another man, unrelated, also indicted this week for having an AR-15 modified to work as a machine gun. That gun was also not registered in the first place. Both are now facing up to 10 years in prison. Young says the fact that these devices are sold online and there's no regulation behind it. Well, that's the biggest issue. The manufacturers know full well what these devices are used for, and it is causing not only problems within our city, but several cities across the nation. With that type of firepower, it's a problem and has officers on edge. And with a, an extended magazine of 30 rounds, you now have a handgun firing 30 rounds on a matter of seconds. The greater issue though, Young says it's being used in untrained hands. It's hard enough for well-trained police SWAT officers to control a fully automatic weapon, but imagine a teenager with a fully automatic weapon, no training, hyped up on drugs and emotion, MPD says there needs to be national outcry about this, calling on local legislators to take action. For now, I'm live in Mobile. Lisa Libraniak, NBC 15 News.